Hi everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today we have two events, Rainy Season and Legacy of the Great Ones, but both of them have one day version, which means we need to log in only once, which I already did. And well, actually these events were cut only in login and other part is almost same. So I would like to compare those event spendings, resources you need to spend, and I prepared some analysis for you to be more effective for this event. First of all, we need to log in. You see that I've did it. Then we have five VIP, VIP till five. I also collected that. Then we have spending emeralds. So yesterday I was top one of arena. That's why I could afford spending around 1000 emeralds. And here we have 50,000 emeralds. Next, we have spending energy. So we have 500 from developers. Also, we can collect daily bonuses. And as a result, I ended up with 1000 energy by trading emeralds into energy and stopped at 100 trade up to 8000. Next, we have to collect soul stones of heroes. So only for this event, I guess, we need soul stones and uh, up to 500. Next, Outland. So Outland for both events, here we have up to 65. And the last was probably just some daily tasks. Open Titan Spears. I opened everything and so I cleaned that easily. Next, we have Legacy of the Great Ones. Same login one time, VIP up to fifths. Then we have Spending Emeralds up to 65,000 open artifact chest so that's what was about titan spheres here we have artifact chests also easy to do then we have get soul stones too so also 500 soul stones as well next we have outland chests up to 70 and energy so what i wanted to talk about let's compare these two events in terms of energy in terms of outland and obviously emeralds so both of them require you to get heroic soul stones. I don't know your reserves, so decide yourself. You can do, go to the shop, get souls there to get some extra things, but don't invest too much, I would say. And let's check my comparison between these two options. I hope it helps you to be more effective with what you are going to spend here. So here we go. I collected some information from all that. And the green line is what is easy to achieve, 1000 emeralds. Well, for me at least, because I am top arena player, so I can afford it. And uh, next we have the yellow line, which, well, maybe you can afford that, 2000 for one day. And then we have several more parts, which I highlighted to show you the bottom line. So if you get 10,000 here, you get three rewards. And if you get 10,000 here, you also get three rewards. As for 20,000, here you requested exactly 20,000. And here you can stop at 14. So if you get 20, you get both those parts. And next, we have spending emeralds. So 50,000 here and slightly less, slightly more here. So if you collect 50,000 and spend them, then you are somewhere in between. So please be careful with spending emeralds. I don't plan to spend them today because we have a, another event tomorrow and all resources I can get here, I can get slowly, but just playing daily, I would say. Next part is about energy. So also here I compared the amount of energy which is requested. Green line is easy, so you just need to get into the game. That's my calculations for the energy part. And uh, actually, you see that we have 500 free from developers. Daily bonus three times by 16, 60, right? And 120 if you play 10 hours to 240 if you play every hour of the day. I don't know. I don't think you play that, right? But you could collect 120 during the night well, when you sleep. That's why I write 240. So 10 energy per hour. Free total up to 920 energy you get for free. That's why the green line shows that you can easily get this 1000. Same about 1500, so not much effort here. You can add something by trading your energy. So if you get extra energy with emeralds, that's the amount you get as extra. 
So I traded everything up to 100. As a result, I managed to collect almost like 1,500, right? So I'm here. I can easily go and jump to the next part of this quest. So to get around 2,500, if I want to trade by 100 PP, it's still a good trade. So it's logical, maybe not for every player, but still it's okay. And uh, at the first event, same story, but you get three rewards, not two. So you need to stop at 2,500 and get three rewards here, two rewards here, maybe, if you can afford that. If you want to deep go deeper, then just add to what you already spent. Every time you need to add 200 multiplied by the amount of purchases you do. And every time you need to multi get this multiplier at once, 120 and that's how you get like what you need here i don't know the amount you need maybe you can use some bottles maybe you can use some extra bonuses so please be careful with that calculate the amount of purchases you need and just press the button before you get it so the red line describes up to 6500 so up to 6500 here and here i would say you spend them all so actually, once you say about spending energy, you need to calculate your own amount. Even if you get 8,000, even if you farm everything hard here, you are still not there at the second event. So I would say 8,000 is logical because you kind of double dig. And after that, well, you, you get just Valkyrie, that's it. And the last but not less important part is Outland. So at Outland, we have same situation, the green line shows, which is kind of not so hard, logical, etc. So to get 12 chests, you just spend 90 emeralds two times at every boss. To get 20, you will need to check 200 offers. So I'll cal calculate it for you, what you have here. So 12 chests has 540 emeralds, easy, right? Then we have offers which allow you to open some more for 200. So every time you get two for 200 and one for free at every boss, that's six times, I would say. Okay, so as a result, you get 21 chests and you do this everything before the green line. After that, you are offered to get one for 500 or 10 plus five for 4,500. Obviously, the second option is better because you have three chests. So if you are requested to get four chests or five chests, then you can save some money, save some emeralds and uh, get the amount of chests you need. So we have 36 here calculated, right? And uh, here we need 40. So we get four more for 500 and that's it. That's it. If you need 45 chests, then it's logical to get 10 with a discount. Instead of 5,000, you pay 4,500 emeralds and get even more, so that's logical. That's why we have same situation for 50 chests. Next, we have previous plus five for 500. And next we have this offer again, so we just double click the 4,500. If you want 70, then make sure that you really want only this reward. Yeah, I know it's good, it's nice, but you will need to spend another 2,000 emeralds to get this reward. And that's my calculations about the total price of you need to kind of get to show to show the developers you really like them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So let me just zoom out for some time. I'll make it clear that, well, the amount is high. Okay, so this amount is really high. If you want to stop, at logical part, so just grab 200 offers and stop there. If you want to farm the event hard, maybe you need to stop at 65 chests to double dig. Otherwise, you will need just to collect even more emeralds and spend them here. So that was my report for you about how you can get double value from events and where I would recommend you to stop. Please think the amount you can spend today because next we have other huge events and I'm waiting for the great storm when you can slowly do same energy quests and get more rewards I guess so thank you for watching I hope my analysis helps you and maybe you have some questions feel free to ask them
Good luck to you and see you in my next videos.